Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to see how to create a data set for Power BI report in a business central. In the previous video, we have discussed using um, uh, web services, right? So here we are going to create an API. Before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where I'll be uploading all the source codes, whichever I'm discussing in the video. So you can find it here. And this is my blog. Here, I'll be uploading the detailed instructions on how to uh, do anything, like uh, how to do the reports, how to create a report builders, uh, tables, and everything. I'll be updating this twice or thrice a month. So you can watch this. If you click on any any one blog, you will get this page. If you wanted to send me an email, so you can use this contact form to send the email. Please follow my blog if you uh, really liked it. And <clears throat> this is my... Uh, playlist okay so this is the youtube playlist where i am play uploading all the microsoft dynamics 365 business central related um videos here so you can see so every week every week twice or thrice a week i'll be uploading i'll be updating this playlist so keep watching if you haven't subscribed it subscribe it Give a like if you really like this video and share it with your friends so that everyone will be get benefited. If you want, if you want to thank me, so you can use this option. Super thanks. We are going to create an API uh, for uh, uh, and we are going to publish it uh, in Power BI and we are going to see whether it is created, whether the uh, uh, data set is accessible. Okay. So for that, what we are going to uh, do is what we have to create a uh, we are going to create a query okay so uh, the query uh, we are going to write it uh, in the um, that is we are going to create a query type with an api so as i have uh, already uh, told you that if you wanted to uh, create if you wanted to import a power bi report into a business central then you have to create a data set which can be accessed through power bi so the data set can be create uh, created in two ways either through api or through a web services okay so api can be created only through any one of these ways that is either through query type or uh, that is query or through a page okay so here i i am showing you through page how we can create it through page okay uh, so this is item query so once if you type t query you can get this complete uh, complete snippet so here uh, I'm going to use the query type as API okay this is the one which we have to definitely use it if you are not going to integrate with power bi then you don't want to probably use it with API okay because since we have to integrate with a third uh, another uh, tool no we have to create it as an API and the second one is we are going to use the we are going to uh, create an API publisher. I'll be showing you where this publisher will be uh, available. Okay, API publisher, API group. We have to tell what is the group, what is the version for the API, what is the entity name, and what is the entity set name. Okay, and the data uh, data access is read only. The next one is uh, I I am I have used this item number, description, category, unit cost, unit price, inventory, quantity on sales order, quantity on purchase order. All these data into the report final report whichever i needed okay that's it simple so you can simply save this query okay so i'm just going to save this query 50106 and this is a query type so i'm just going to use a query okay just press ctrl s and press ctrl f5 so which you can see it here so this is uh, the link where you can find the complete properties about the query okay what are the query properties you have access property apa publisher property API version, API group property, caption, caption ML, everything. Okay, everything. If you want to know about it, you can just see how it is really working. Um, so this is uh, the link. I'll be sharing this link with you. Um, so you can just go and check what are the other properties which are available in API. Or sorry, query. Query pages. Uh, sorry, query object. So this is the uh, item availability underscore power BI. So you can see here that this is item availability underscore power bi which i have given in the caption so if you see the next one uh, what we have to see is whether we have this is the first step okay you have to build the api next is we have published it and we have to see whether the extension is available in the uh, in the extension management okay 
so we have created the extension that contains the query object now we are ready to publish and install the extension and we we have already published and published the extension now we have to check whether the extension is available so how we have can check it click here this um, search icon that is uh, and then you can simply type extension management once if you click here extension management you can see what are the various extensions which are already published so this is you can see here this is microsoft right so microsoft means this is a inbuilt extension which is already published by microsoft so we cannot consider this okay so the next one is what you have to check for default okay so r whatever which is published by uh, uh, users okay that will be available under default okay so here you can see this is default publisher and this is you can see this is power bi integration so where this will be available you can go here and check this is power bi integration here okay you can see this is power bi integration great so it's already published now let us import this data into power bi desktop so what we are going to do is what we are going to search for power bi just click and enter power bi so your power bi um, screen or that is your power bi environment will be loaded so once your power bi environment is loaded you can click here get data and click here more okay once if you click here more it will prompt you for various other data so uh, uh, other data sources which are uh, possibly available okay yeah, any other data sources so we have to uh, select our relevant data which is dynamics 365 business central so you will be having two options one is dynamics 365 business central and the second one is dynamics 365 business central on premises on premises in the sense if you are using dynamics 365 as a separate software that is you are using it in your uh, on premises then you have to go with that but i am using uh, business central and using sandbox and that is through cloud so i am not i will not be selecting the on premises option okay so you can see here that if you click in the online services you can see two options dynamics 365 business central on premises so i i am going to click here dynamics 365 business central and click connect so this will be connected with your business central login you have to give the exact login which that is a uh, um, username and the password if you are trying for the first time it will prompt you to enter the username and the password okay but it since it is not um, it, this is the uh, this is uh, i have already logged in so it is not showing anything so what is the environment okay you can find this environment in the launch.json so you can find the complete information about it you can simply select here bc india okay so once if you click here bc india it will show you what is the company so the company name you can see it in the business central role center page and then this is coronas right coronas uh, in i am using all these things in the coronas in so i have three options already we have checked about uh, web services how to do it with web services now you can find this in the advanced api because we have created a query as an api type so you can find it if you just expand this advanced api you can see various option here how to find yours so you can find it like this okay uh, so whatever the name you have given here in the api publisher that will be available here see the first thing is api publisher that is contoso okay api publisher and the second name is what the entity sorry api group learn power bi so learn power bi is my entity sorry api group and the next one is the version v2.0 is my version if you click this it will show you the entity set name okay my entity set name is what item availabilities okay you can see here item availabilities which is given here item availabilities okay simply select this okay you can select it and then we can if you wanted to do some uh, some other uh, changes over here like for example if you wanted to uh, do some dax if you wanted to uh, format uh, that is if you wanted to transform your data into some other better formatting options then that is also fine it is also possible over here so all these things are possible so in this we have uh, we understand that how to create an api 
uh, from a business handle how to make your data set available to power bi in a api format if you wanted to know how to make it in the uh, through a web services format then you can check my previous video so in the next video i'll be telling you like how we are going to um, show this how we can create a simple visualization in power bi and how we are going to show that in the business central role center role center page thank you take care bye bye